Boom. Boom. Pop. Damn it. Die. <laughs> I thought it was an actual hail, not just single shots. This only proves you are no, to it is shot. just the damage, pain, misery. You tell me you didn't know. You may have been programmed by humanity, but what you did to Shadow in the future, that was your... Oh, now it's the hail. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the pain feels marvelous. Teleport away. Bye bye. What just happened? Omega is yeah. worrying. I'm sorry, Shadow. Let me stand up straight first. Is me. Sad. Nesme. You see, they could have used that, that fade out to give explanation on that, but they decided not to. It's, it's so unfair. There was only so many fade outs we can Shadow use. It might as well be used for one of the more dramatic sequences. Despite well, that, there was that one time he tried to blow up the world, the but, you know, we don't hold that against him. Boop, 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 kill the president, boop, 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 kill the president, boop. <laughs> it is seen as a threat. And then the world becomes its enemy. Shadow. Unfortunately, Omega, your voice actor is not, is not told to deliver that with the uh, emotion Shadow? that he's supposed to have. Because you are a robot. Omega has no feelings. In the world would, be against you. would you like to go see a movie? <laughs> know that I'll always remain I alive. hear that Last Jedi is okay. Remember that. Where are you going? I thought we were friends. <laughs> Don't you remember doing Sonic Heroes stuff with me? Damn you, Shadow the Hedgehog. No, come back here. Come back. I made you cupcakes for your birthday. I love you. <laughs> yes. So why are we invading? Why are they invading from the desert? Because the desert has become very angry. <laughs> oh, look, Mephilus is using Iblis monsters. Aha! You thought we were done? Nah, not quite. There are always more Iblis monsters in Sonic. Nah, uh, the enemies are the other way, Cloud. The enemies have to be close to where the objects are, right? There's an oh. object, it has a life bar. <laughs> Past cloud, the enemies are still the other way. Invisible walls also are helpful for finding my destination. Boxes, not so much. There you go. You're almost to the enemies. Oh, uh, invisible wall. <laughs> Ring box. There, you have found the enemy. Duh. Uh, damn it, damn it, Rogue, you can fly. Sorry, it's Rouge. Rouge. Rogi Rouge. And Wipe them out. And homing chain. They call me Mr. Clean, Magic Eraser. Oh shit! <laughs> what? I almost died. Uh, there's a there's a Mephilus lizard. Ah, Mephil lizards! I should have known your treasury. I should have seen your purple fingers in this. You purple snake monster. Another Mephilus lizard. I will enjoy your life forces in this world. Fuck. Zap, zap, zap. <laughs> I apologize for the noise off screen. I keep dropping my shit. I'm not even sure why I'm holding shit.
Are we done yet? <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> okay, how many enemies? How many enemies are left? How many enemies have I cleaned out? Two? Oh, there's another one. Go do it. <laughs> uh, the, there's probably gonna be a uh, doublet of uh, Mephilus Golems yet. Let's let's see if I can. I'm gonna see if I can figure a hierarchy in from from least favorite to most favorite enemies to fight. My least favorite enemy to fight is the purple golem. My most favorite enemy to fight might be either the red flyers or the red salamanders. Well, those literally die in a single homing attack. Yes, and that's why they're the most fun. The purple golem, on the other hand, can survive an entire combo and then deal damage because as soon as Shadow starts falling, falling under his own gravity, he hits the golem and the golem deals damage. Is it actually a triplet of, of purple golems? No, actually, here's here's them right now. See, I do a combo, I fail to kill him, and then he hits me. Same with this guy. Did the combo, I have to hit him again. Kaioken times three. Actually, you're only in times one. I kick out your feet. There. Oh, Xbox guide. Destroy the enemies invading from the desert. I needed to check how much time I had. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Lord Regis. I govern this city. I'm just oh, now oh, being introduced oh. to you because I don't actually serve a point. You recognize me as the man with the top hat and the monocle. Those are my only distinguishing characteristics. Indeed. Indeed. Maybe I wasn't strong enough. Well, more like you weren't fast enough, Shadow. Want some weight training, Shadow? Go bench press Omega a few times. Put some muscle on. Get some hair on your chest. <sighs> uh, I don't think Omega's more than about 500 pounds, though. Oh, he's a heavy bastard. He's tall. Uh, he's tall in comparison to the to the rest of the uh, to the rest of the hedgehogs. Thing is, he's not actually all that tall in comparison to the humans. Omega probably weighs somewhere between nine hundred and eleven hundred pounds. Just just throwing it out there. <laughs> all right. So now we have to go over to. The, the, the desert place that I forget its name. Dusty Desert. Dusty Desert. Thank you. It, it's a it's a it's a charming little place which with a funny alliterative name which honestly feels more appropriate for the beginning of the game, not the very bitter end of of, of the game. <laughs> Damn it, Rouge! Stop dying. You can fly. Hey. Rouge, where'd you go? Hey. Do you say the exact same thing? Yes, you do. Okay, I just needed to be sure. You cannot hide your secrets from me. Oh, cutscene, of course. Mephilus appears to have headed for those rooms. These cutscenes need more musical backing. These cutscenes need Probably something going on besides voice place. acting and footstep sound effects. There's no doubt. Oh, I'm sorry, jumping mind. sound effects too. His movement shows he's seeking any chaos emerald he can find. Supposedly, he needs one in order to But for why? Again. Well, we don't know that yet, Gerda, that there are more powerful forces at work. Nah, Omega is one of the most powerful uh, Sonic the Hedgehog characters. Because he's programmed to be powerful. Well, he's written to be powerful. I mean, he's not as powerful as Shadow, but uh, then, but Shadow only really gets his superpowers from this game, so we don't like to think of that as canon. So, welcome to the very last level of the Shadow Campaign, the Dusty Desert. Honestly, it honestly is not terrible to go through, except if you fail to complete it, like I did. I didn't get a game over over here. In fact, and I think I'm... I think I kept this in just... Through those. I think I kept this in to... just to... I know I have to go through those. I, I was uh, explaining my... Pius Cloud is confused. He, he loves shooting things. But there are no things to shoot. There are no things to shoot. Methinks there should be something here. 
Well, there would be something here if you had gone the path that you were supposed to. I wasn't paying attention to the very first thing that came up. No, it's one thing to repeat a hint after you've been lost for two minutes, but it's, it's another thing to just get my attention right away. You know what the first Shadow, thing I noticed? I know you like Zelda Breath of the Wild, but, you know, you, you do have to do the story. You can't just ignore it until the end of the game. Shadow loves his hover car very much. That's why he could not pay any attention to anything else. Not even the fact that there's nothing up at the end of this goddamn ramp. But he goes for it anyway. We. This is a pretty so, awesome track so far, though. It, it, it is. It I is like a good the, track. Uh, the, yeah. desert, the desert sax. It just, it just doesn't fit. This part maybe feels like a final level because we haven't even gotten into the true dungeon yet. Right. We are. Honestly, we are... this, this more or less feels like a, uh, like a, a desert rendition of a skate park, get, uh, given, uh, given the obstacles that are here and the uh, ramps that they, that they have set up. They call us the Ollie Nomads. We jump, we skate, we live. Yay! We're making progress finally. Progress is being made. You have to go. You have to go in between each of these pillars. If you miss them, it's okay. You just have to find the very last pair that you were supposed to go through until you reach the end of the course. Now this there are enemies. This is why they gave me guns. This is why they gave me a slope at which I could shoot the enemies. <laughs> uh, no, they gave you a slope so you could pretend to shoot at the enemies. I tried. Whee! Bullets don't aim. <laughs> I aim. Ow. Dude, the if you blow up your hovercraft, you end up falling into the bottomless pit. Oh, I know. I know. But does past you remember this? Right now, right now, Pass Cloud must destroy. Even at great personal risk. Be careful, Shadow. Fire your gun, Shadow. They're the only things that make you happy. And over the ridge. Thank you. Over the ridge and through the dunes to Grandmother's house we go. Why does Grandmother live in the desert? Because Grandmother... Grandmother is on fixed income, that's why. <laughs> Think she can afford to live anywhere else? No. Your shadow can't afford to live anywhere else. Got to settle for this hovercraft on a rental agreement. He's about to violate it by destroying the fucking thing with no insurance. Yes. Very Over good, shadow. Ramp. All right. Ramp. We... Flyers, so, dead, do you fail the wall. segment this time, Mr. Cloud? No, no, I, I, I got it. This is, this is the, this is the easy part. This, this is literally just, there we do, go. just do the course and enter, and enter the inescapable blackness. Oh, the part's over. <laughs>